class, we meet again, and today we'll learn about directed graph and weighted graph. Yeah, so we start with directed graph first. So, first we see what is directed graph. As you can see here, yeah, in the diagram, a directed graph is a graph which um, a direction, yeah, a direction is assigned to the edge connecting two vertices, yeah, one vertex, another vertex, and then a direction. You can see the direction here um, using um, an arrow, yeah, using an arrow here, and then um, let's say uh, for for H, for H E1, yeah, I name it E1, yeah, H1, the, uh, you call it A, yeah, A here as the initial vertex, and then B here as the, B as the terminal vertex, yeah, initial and then B is terminal. That means it start from A. Yeah, start from A. And then end at B. So for H1, we we name it A B according to the according to the arrow. Yeah. And then for E H one for H one A H two sorry H two the the H is called C uh, C B why C B because it start from C to B so C is the um, starting point. Eh? or the initial initial uh, vertex and then b is the terminal vertex that's why it's c b cannot be b c eh? if b c it is wrong because you have to follow the arrow yeah the arrow or the direction that's why it is called a directed graph so E3, H3, H3 is here. You look at the direction. Start from C to, to A. That means the, um, the H is named C A. Yeah. It's very strict. Huh? You cannot just simply uh, C A or A C. You have to see the arrow. Yeah, the arrow. So very easy directed graph there is arrow to show you the direction whereas for undirected graph this is what you learned before yeah mm, no arrow no arrow and no direction so for h1 you can write as ab or ba it doesn't matter yeah either one you can write either one but normally we write a b yeah? uh, and then for e h2 also we can write b c or c b the same as h3 we can write a c or c a so that is directed undirected graph very easy uh, next how do you calculate uh, the degrees yeah for the directed graph yeah how do we do it okay let's see we do some reflection first last time what we learn okay let's say you have three uh, vertices a b and c and then uh, the edges is uh, this one e1 e2 and e3 so how first how do you find the degree of a so the degree of of a is the number of edges here yes, so remember so if you make uh, one circle here you can see that there is two two edges here 
two edges yeah so degree is two so for b also you can see one two yeah this one also two for c you can see one two so also two so the 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 sum the sum of degree of this graph abc is six yeah okay good so for directed graph uh, it's very different from the undirected, undirected graph yeah because you have to uh, there is in and there is out here okay what is the meaning of uh, degree in for vertex a okay the meaning is the number of edges going going into into vertex a in meaning going into yeah so for a degree out meaning the number of edges coming out yeah coming out number of edges coming out coming out from vertex a so you have to uh, really uh, consider this ah uh, when you do i give you an example okay we look at degree in for uh, vertex a yeah degree in so degree in is the this we have two edges yeah two edges here so the one go in go into a there is one one edge so you put one okay for degree coming out yeah coming out according to the arrow here from a is only one edge okay do you get it so we go to uh, b yeah degree in for b degree in for b degree this is b degree in is one degree eh, sorry degree in uh, for b one and then two ah so this is two make it two degree out no out yeah no edges coming out so this one is zero so for c c uh, degree in degree in for c look at c here degree in in also zero no arrow coming into c but there are two arrows coming out coming out from c two so you can uh, sum up the degree yeah, for this graph all together one plus one plus two zero zero plus two so six so the number of degree uh, is still the same yeah with the undirected graph okay let's uh, look an uh, example yeah okay example seven uh, draw a directed graph based on the given information so your vertex you have uh, a b c d e f and then your edges uh, you are given six edges here so how to draw a directed graph so first we start with um, bear in mind uh, you have the vertex, vert, vertex vertices are a b c d e f and then we start with a b first yeah a b uh, b you can do like this yeah 
and then uh, A C A C arrow okay done C C B done D C D C that means here is C D maybe here okay D okay and then E D E E D maybe E okay this one uh, we forgot the arrow D C and then E D E D arrow like that and then E P okay you have done that but something is missing where is your F <laughs> yeah where is your F class F is not in not connected yeah all here no no F so F is not connected to the graph so where do we put F Mm, F we can put anyway and uh, what do you call A? Uh, F uh, what do you call F? F is the vertex that uh, not connected to any uh, vertices and it is called isolated vertex yeah okay very easy the the graph I'm very sure you can do it next we go to um, another example here yeah another example next we go to another example on how to draw a directed graph with a loop and also a multiple uh, edges yeah so um, the loop is in vertex A and then BC is a multiple edge. So what do you do first? How many vertices? You can see here A, B, C. That means got three vertices. So you can actually uh, draw the all the vertices first. Okay, B and then maybe C here okay and then um, there is a loop in vertex uh, vertex A eh? so you make one loop here and then for BC BC multiple edges so other here multiple edges okay so for loop yeah I need to explain to you for the loop mm, there is uh, for the direction yeah loop have how many direction one or two <laughs> loop has two direction yeah uh, one coming out of vertex a and then one will be coming in so every loop remember yeah every loop it is fixed that it has one in and one out okay let's see um okay i i erase first okay let's see uh, degree uh, coming in for a yeah for a here okay you have already one one uh one in one out yeah so this one is three uh, three coming in so maybe one from uh, one from a yeah. one from a uh, one from b here yeah coming into a and then um, another one because you have three here yeah so coming one from here from c so we have two plus one three coming in and out uh, only one yeah from the loop okay this one is done 
for B coming in to B only one yeah so you can put one coming in and then out from B two this one already one another one out here correct yeah so you have two coming out from B okay let's see C yeah C here uh, in is one this one and then out two so settle for C yeah it's settle for you already so that's it that is how you draw a directed graph with loop and multiple edges so remember yeah for loop for loop you have out and in so the degree for in uh, is one degree for out is also one yeah okay please remember that yeah okay class we are done with the directed graph now we go to next the weighted weighted graph and unweighted graph yeah okay very easy weighted graph that means uh, there is a value a value or a weight given on the on the edge yeah you can see here lah, that is the that is the value given whereas in unweighted graph there is no this one no value so that's that's very easy to understand eh? we go to example eh? this example is in your textbook you can refer to the textbook yeah a diagram on the right shows one way path that Izaru can choose for his running practice yeah so vertex one is the starting this is very important that you know where is the starting position yeah and vertex um five is the ending position before he goes home okay so the question is determine a the shortest distance from v vertex one to vertex five that means from the start to the ending of his uh, training yeah running practice so how how do you do it for v1 to v5 okay there are two ways uh, to to find the i mean for for his rule to go to v1 to v5 yeah but we want to find the shortest distance so one he can go v1 to v3 to v4 and a uh, v4 then to v5 yeah another 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 route he can follow is v1 to v2 to v5 so of course um for this one you have to go 500 500 and then another 500 this is 1500 meters for this one 600 and 500 so only 1100 meters so the shortest the shortest is 100 100 uh, 1100 meters yeah okay you can write it in kilometer so it is 1.1 K km okay for b okay the longest distance will be uh, from here you have to follow the arrow huh? you ju cannot just simply go anywhere so here v1 to v v2 here v2 yeah v2 and then go to v3 and then go to v4 and then v5 so the distance is 600 plus 900 plus 500 plus and then 500 so what is the distance 
it is 2500 meter same as 2.5 kilo meter so that is the longest distance huh? maybe he wants to practice more so she follow the he follow the longest distance yeah okay the last one C you uh, determine the vertices that uh, must pass through if the distance of the one-way run is between 1.4 km and 2.5 km so there are two um, routes that he has to follow uh, and it must be the distance must be in 1.4 km to 2.1 km so within the range here yeah so he has to this one you have to do trial and error eh? so he has to go to one vertex one three then four and then five and here um, you have the distance is 500 plus that is 1.5 km yeah this one meter you know like how I do it to kilometer and then for uh, the next route will be uh, V1 V2 to V4 to V5 yeah? V1 okay V1 to V2 is distance V2 to V4 800 and then 500 yeah so this one 600 plus 800 plus 500 so all together is 1.9 kilo meter so 1.5 to 1.9 it is within the range yeah within the range of 1.4 to 2.1 kilometer so you have answered the question okay class um, we have uh, done with the uh, example I hope you can understand so we'll go to 5.1b the exercise as usual Mm, for 1 and 2, I think should be no problem. It's uh, straightforward. I want you to do 3 and 4. Okay, do it now. Do it today. And you can uh, do anything after this. Yeah, all the best. Bye.